Hello everyone. I'm walking. Making sort of a square Whew. around this neighborhood. And I plan to do it. Pardon me. It's it's pretty tough walking this area because it it's pretty much all uphill. Not really, but yeah. So I'm just walking in a big square basically. I bet it's probably like two tenths of a mile maybe every lap. So I'm gonna do it. Do one or two more laps before it gets completely dark. I tell you, it's not that strenuous. So I know I'm breathing pretty hard, but I am not an active person, so I gotta get used to it. It's a pretty steep hill. Like, if you look back there, it's pretty steep going down, so you can imagine what going up is like. Whew. Anyway. It's about to get rougher, because I'm about to go back uphill. Actually, I am going uphill right now. But it's just going to get better. Or steeper, I mean. Certainly is a pretty day. And it's kind of unfortunate, because of the last video... I did record a video up there on that porch, and, um... The whole file corrupted, so that was unfortunate. It's a 20 minute video. So I remember what I talked about, and when I catch my breath, I'll continue about it. So, top of the hill, about to head back down the hill. Oh, jeez. Walking in the square. Heart is beating like heck, but that's okay. That means I'm getting exercise, and that's what I need to do. <sighs> I'm not dying, I promise. Positivity. You need positivity in your life, don't you? I'm going back to the topic I was talking about when the video, the, the other video I was doing corrupted. So it's unfortunate, but positivity is what I was talking about. Basically, just to make a long video short. Man. Um. Just be as positive as you can. Your brain is naturally probably in a pretty negative spot. No matter what you do. So if you keep, um. Reflecting negative things in your brain, all that's going to do is make you think negatively every time you have something bad or even maybe good happen. But, the more positive you are, the better your positivity in general will be. So it's like, um... I've considered pretty much all my life to have some sort of a pen pal. And I coined this term a couple weeks ago and I really liked it. It was um outreach to improve the outlook. So let me say that again. Outreach to improve the outlook. So 
if, say you have a pen pal, you reaching out to your pen pal is outreaching, and the more times you do it, the better your pen pal's outlook will be. So, um, the better someone's outlook is, the happier they will be. So, think of it like this. If you, if you have a pen pal and you outreach 30 times, say this person's having a really bad day. You outreach, and then 30 times, usually, not every time, but 30 times, your outreach is going to improve their outlook because they have something to look forward to and maybe you outreaching makes that person happy. So if you make them happy, you're improving their outlook. So every time you send them mail or send them a text, it doesn't matter who it is, your text usually will just make their day brighter. And so your outreach improves their outlook. Outreach to improve their outlook. I guess in some ways that could be my model for this channel because it's my channel name is Steadfast Vlogs and I've always thought of pursuing YouTube as a career option because I know you can use YouTube in a lot of ways to say be a writer or be an animator or be someone who uses YouTube to speak because personally I'm not very good at public speaking it drive it drives a lot of um anxiety into me and I don't like it but it could be very different by being a YouTuber where you even though you are talking to someone someone who's out there, you're not talking face to face and so that relieves a ton of anxiety. So my channel specifically for me is to be an outreach to people who are um need something positive in their life. So maybe you're having a bad day, but you see I've made a video about chickens or about something else and so you click on it and suddenly you begin to be happier and so your outlook improves I definitely think that should be my motto outreach to improve their outlook so by me doing videos of what I like to do and I do like to talk I just don't like it's very stressful for me to talk in front of someone face to face or even worse if I'm in a crowd but me outreaching through my videos will help improve someone else's outlook so the people who come to my videos they're gonna come here because either they like it well duh you have to like it but they come here because they like me and they just want to be happier so if I can be an outreach to someone who's in need I would want to do it if I could um do my life over again I think I would have pursued I mean I still could but I think it would be more difficult pursue um speaking or writing at a younger age or even being someone who is like a mental therapist or a physical therapist someone who can be active and helpful to help those with a bowel li to outreach to someone who has a bad outlook and give them a better outlook on life or about a better outlook on themselves so just in general being positive and what you do can give someone else a better outlook because it's often easy to mistake or miss just how many people you profoundly affect 
not all of it's good, but a lot of things you do affect someone else in a profound way that makes them either like they sit down and think a little, or they smile, or they laugh, or they heartily laugh, or something like that. Positivity is something I have lacked a lot in my life. I tend to be pretty negative, and especially if I'm very anxious, I often reflect the negative, and I know that's not a super good thing for you to do. Sometimes you do need negativity, because if you're positive all the time, it's easy for something to undermine you, and then suddenly that happy, happy, go, happy, positive person is suddenly amidst a complete mental breakdown and people will ditch you because they're used to you being happy. I'm a man and for years it's been driven into men across the country that you're not supposed to show weakness. But at some point you have to sit and think to yourself is trying to be something you're not really a good look for you. So, I, I, I had a specific way where I was going with this, but it kind of went down off a tangent, but it goes along two and two together, really. If you don't have to conform to everything anybody says, if you do, you're not going to have any fun in life. You have rules and guidelines that you should follow, but that doesn't mean that you can't be free and make your own decisions. So, a decision to be free to yourself and be positive instead of being negative is basically like outreaching to yourself to improve your own outlook. So, <laughs> so, I guess the moral of this entire video, and hopefully this one doesn't, um, corrupt. It's getting really dark, but, um, basically the whole moral of the story is sometimes you just need to be a little positive, and I know specifically for a person like me, who tends to be a worrywart, it's hard. It can be pretty hard to be positive, even in the best of times. So, it could be as simple as, say, today, just at the end of the day, think of one thing that made you feel positive, and just hone in on that certain thing that made you feel happy or made you feel good about yourself or made you feel positive. Good grief, it's really dark, but I'll go ahead and wrap this up pretty soon. But just in general, I know you can't see me very well, but be positive. Being positive helps improve your own outlook and being positive in general helps you outreach to someone to improve their outlook. So with my videos, that's what I aim to do. I'm not very used to being a YouTuber yet, and I, I guess you could hardly call me one, because I haven't done this for long enough. But, as I grow and mature, the more things I do to help better myself, along the way is going to help better someone else who really needs it. So. I guess just in general, your takeaway, and I know you can barely see me, is just be positive even though you want to be negative. If you can be positive today, it'll be easier for you to be positive tomorrow. And if you continue to stay positive, pretty soon, your positivity is going to outreach to someone that you may not expect is outreaching to, and their outlook is going to improve. 
So, thank you all so much for watching. And you can barely see me, but it's getting pretty dark. The sun is behind the horizon over there, so it's about to be dark any minute. So, thank you all so much for watching. This is Monty and Steadfast Vlogs, and I'll see you on the flip side. Be positive.